Every day, millions of people around the world rely on traditional open fires for their basic needs. But these fires come at a cost. They release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Zimbabwe is no different. Across the country, girls like Petronella walk long distances and spend many hours collecting firewood for cooking. This leaves them little time for schoolwork or having fun, and it contributes to deforestation and climate change. To address these issues, Cicada Carbon has developed a carbon project which generates carbon credits through distributing free rocket stoves to rural communities and which also restores degraded woodland through tree planting. Of course, rocket stoves hugely reduce firewood consumption and carbon emissions. Traditional and but so far, the project has distributed 120,000 stoves, with another 40,000 expected to be delivered before the end of 2024. The distribution of these stoves generates carbon credits, which are now ready to take to the market. In addition, and what makes our project unique, is that one-fifth of the income we generate from the carbon credits is invested back into tree planting, restoring ecosystems and reducing deforestation. This will in time reduce carbon emissions and generate further carbon credits. But how does the project work exactly? Most rural households in Zimbabwe cook on open fires, with an average household using six tons of firewood each year. Every stove we distribute radically reduces the amount of firewood needed for cooking. Over the course of a year, this adds up to a saving of four tons of firewood per household. This reduction in firewood consumption translates directly into a reduction of six tons of CO2 emissions each year. Over its seven-year lifetime, this adds up to a reduction of 42 tons of CO2 emissions or the equivalent of one hectare of woodland saved. This reduction in emissions is verified by Gold Standard, who then issue us with carbon credits. This combined intervention not only contributes to the reduction of global emissions, but is an essential step in reducing rural energy poverty in Zimbabwe and giving our damaged woodlands the breathing space to recover. Rocket stoves have other less obvious benefits. They require much smaller branches, so people can burn sticks and twigs without felling entire trees. This leaves trees standing, growing, and sequestering further carbon. Also in Zimbabwe's rural areas, both firewood collection and food cooking are largely conducted by women. So our rocket stoves give girls like Petronella more time to work and play, as well as reducing respiratory health problems caused by smoke inhalation. So while our carbon credits are generated through rocket stove distribution, our project has many benefits beyond emission reductions. Through your investment, we can continue to support the National Environmental Fund, plant trees, and restore ecosystems, and perhaps, most importantly, improve the lives of girls like Petronella.